Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you seven helpful, useful, cool terminal commands for you to use on your Mac, MacBook, whatever. And some of these are visual, some of these are in the background, some of these are just small quality of life improvements. But uh, let's jump straight into the first one and that is making apps translucent in the dock when they are hidden. Now you may be saying, Jake, what are you talking about? So if you go on your keyboard and press Command H, it hides the window. And if you come down here, you take a look at terminal in my dock, it's hidden and it's translucent instead of being opaque like every other icon on my dock. If I click it, it comes back to opaque. Now the command to do this is defaults right com dot apple dot dock show hidden dash bool true semicolon kill all dock. I'll have all of these commands in the description below so you can just copy and paste into your terminal. And once you type that out, you wanna hit enter. It'll kill everything. It'll bring it all back. And then if I hit command H, come down here it'll hide and it'll be translucent this next command is based in finder and this is to show the full file path those of you who use windows you know what this is for those of you that don't know basically it's just the cascading list of folders and directories that you're in so let me just show you what I mean if I click in the background and you see up here it says documents local if I go and open my technology and toys folder it changes to technology and toys now this is okay I don't mind this it's helpful it's cool but some people like to know exactly where they are and exactly what folders they are inside of so the command to do this is defaults right com.apple.finder underscore fx show posi x path in title dash bool yes semicolon kill all finder and when you hit enter it'll kill finder if i open up a new finder window you see up here it says slash users slash whatever your user account name is slash documents if i go into my technology and toys folder it says slash users slash username slash documents slash technology and toys and you can go in as far as you want and it'll keep going across the top personally for me that's just helpful to know exactly where i am some of you might not like this and that's okay you don't have to use this command if you don't like it on to the third one now our third command here is based on the dock and it's reveal animation so if i go over into a full screen app, I move my cursor down to the bottom, the dock will come up. Now that's kind of slow, I mean it's normal, this is normal speed, but it's kind of slow, I like it to be snappier. There's a couple different ways you can do this, you can use this command, defaults right com.apple.dock auto hide dash time dash modifier dash float 0 0.12 semicolon kill all dock and when you enter that I go back over here, you can see it comes up a lot faster. But if this is not fast enough for you, there's another one, defaults right com.apple.doc, auto hide dash time dash modifier dash int zero semicolon kill all doc. If you enter that and I go into pages over here, there's no animation, it just immediately shows up. And if you want to go back to normal speed for whatever reason, you can use this command right here, defaults delete com.apple.doc, auto hide dash time dash modifier, semicolon kill all doc, and then enter. Because I already did this, it'll say there is no domain found, defaults have not been changed. So now I've changed it, if I hit command V and I kill it, I go back to pages over here, it's back to normal. Command number four is centered around screenshot. Most of you know you can take screenshots in Mac OS. You can use Command Shift 3 to take a screenshot of your full screen. You can use Command Shift 4 to take a screenshot of a certain part. You can use Command Shift 4 and then press space to screenshot a whole window. And if you have a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, you can hit Command Shift 6 and you'll take a picture of the touch bar. And they come up in really, really high res. They come up in the resolution of whatever your uh, screen is or however big the window is. And they come up in a file called PNG. Now if I hit Command I come over here, this is a 6.4 megabyte image. That is kind of large for a picture. And you don't want to be sending huge files to friends over text or to and from different devices. Because if you're doing that on data, that might trip you up somewhere along the line. But thankfully you can fix that. If you do defaults write com.apple.screencapture type 
jpg and hit enter and i take a screenshot now you'll see it comes up same image same resolution 2880 by 1800 but if i inspect it you can see that is significantly smaller than 6.4 megabytes that's not that's about a half a megabyte right there that is a huge change and it doesn't have to just be jpg you can do gif if you really want so if i screenshot see here it's a gif you can do tiff files and those are really large, like really, really large. This is 20.7 megabytes for a screenshot. So depending on the size of the file and the quality of whatever you're looking for, you can do it differently. I like to keep it at JPG because that is the smallest file. It retains most of your quality and you can screenshot a whole bunch of things and send them all over the place and they won't be huge. This fifth command is aimed at older macbooks macbook pro macbook air and this is the charging chime that comes with the newer macbook macbook pros so whenever you plug in a newer macbook or macbook pro it'll make the same charging sound that ios devices make and some people might like that some people might not for those of you who do like that and you want to hear it more you can enable it on your mac you have to type in defaults right com dot apple dot power chime chime on all hardware dash bool true semicolon open slash system slash library slash core services slash power chime dot app ampersand and then when you hit enter i'm not sure if you need to do a reboot or if it just starts working when you plug in your macbook using your mac safe connector it will make the power chime to let you know that it's charging command number six is also about screenshots so if, if you're looking to do more with screenshots from command number four this one is definitely for you now i'm sure by now if you know how to use your different screenshot types you'll know to use command shift four and then press space capture an image of a specific window this is really helpful but it comes up with this uh shadow and box around it and that's not really great you're gonna have to go in you're gonna have to crop it and it's not gonna look super pretty fortunately though there is a way to turn this off so if you go into terminal and type in defaults right com dot apple dot screen capture disable dash shadow dash bool true semicolon kill all system ui server and hit return i'm gonna take another screenshot of my terminal window and i'm gonna pull it up and you can see there's no shadow around this one whereas with this one there is really helpful for those of you that like to throw around window screenshots every so often and you don't want to have that shadow beneath it now this one i really liked it's kind of something that you'll do once it'll either improve the quality of your life slightly or tremendously depending on who you are most of us know that in os 10 and mac os there's this thing called dashboard looks kind of old right hasn't been updated by apple apple probably doesn't even acknowledge that this exists anymore and what most people don't realize is you can't quit dashboard so it's an app that will sit there and run and it will use your cpu it'll use a small small almost indiscernible fraction of your battery power but it's there it's in the background it's running it's using your cpu and for the amount of times that i use dashboard per year i'm really not okay with that cpu usage fortunately that can be changed and turned off entirely use defaults right com dot apple dot dashboard mcx dash disabled dash boolean true semicolon kill all doc so when i hit enter if i go to swipe over dashboard is no longer there if i type dashboard it doesn't open it's not there you can undo this if you for some reason do need dashboard just type defaults right com dot apple dot dashboard mcx dash disabled boolean false kill all doc enter and then dash dashboard it will come back so there you guys have it that's my list of seven helpful useful cool terminal commands in os 10 and mac os this works on pretty much every version of os 10 and mac os to date some of them might not work as well like the power chime is probably never going to work on a mac mini or a mac pro i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys found this useful and helpful if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe turn on notifications with the bell share this with your friends if they're looking for different commands to play around with in the terminal this has been jake with technology and toys until the next video see you guys later goodbye